Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy, Khoi. I am here again on YouTube. It's been an honor to be here with you all. Last video that I posted yesterday, that was the video that got the most people talking. So I really struck a nerve. I really hit the spot. It's a sore spot that no one wants to touch. I know what men today are having issues with. Love, intimacy, sex. That's why those videos of mine get so popular. Isn't that true? You guys have a problem with sex and intimacy. That's the kind of content people are viewing on YouTube nowadays. And is it doing any good for society? I don't know. I feel like my videos is causing more harm than good. Although lots of comments are quite helpful. I can see the people in our community is trying to help others. But the vast majority that I've seen, the vast majority of the comments that I've seen on my channel, what are people talking about? We have all these people commenting, it's over, it's over, it's over for the rice sales, it's over for the, the Asian man, it's over for the manlet. What are you guys talking about? It's not over. As long as I'm still here, as long as I'm still alive, it's not over. It's my fucking life, you see? And it's your life as well, it's not fucking over. Are you seriously gonna kill yourself? over some 50 kilogram piece of meat who rejected you. Uh, I better cut that out, that, that, was, that was not good. Anyways, I think these videos, these incel videos, the videos with the tag incel, true force loneliness, doomer, black pill, it's not doing any good for the community because it's just an echo chamber. You come to those videos because you want to hear, you just want to hear what you've been telling yourself, the negative self-talk, the putting yourself down. You want to hear those things again. You don't want to hear the uncomfortable advice that it, true, loving, caring friend might give you. I think as a kid, a lot of the dating advice that I got from maybe my peers and my elders were that to just love yourself, be yourself, and then you will find someone. Although it, it is true to a certain point, I think this statement needs to be explored further. You cannot love yourself unless other people love you. And I'm going to say that again. You cannot love yourself unless other people love you. Now, at first glance, you might think, what the fuck is this guy talking about? You should only focus on yourself and love yourself first before others can love you. But then you have to ask yourself, it is, is it true that it's so easy to love another human being than loving yourself? Anyone with any, any real amount of um, self-awareness can attest to this. It's so much easier to love other people than loving yourself. You always see a problem with yourself. You're too short. You're too ugly. You're too nerdy. You're not strong enough. You're not muscular enough. There's, there's always some fault within yourself. You don't make enough money. You're too awkward. 
You see, I can sit here all day and I can list all my shortcomings. It's so easy. It's so fucking easy. It's not even a joke. But then, if you ask me to love somebody, it's so easy. I can easily overlook their mistakes, the shortcomings. Why don't we apply this to ourselves? I don't know. It's just part of the human nature. We just don't like ourselves. Well, I'm speaking from experience anyway. Maybe there are narcissists out there. People who have such an inflated ego that they cannot um, see their mistakes and they will never admit that they need to improve on themselves. Those people, I say, don't really have a good sense of self-awareness. So why am I saying this? Why am I saying that you cannot love yourself unless other people love you? Because this is a metric for measuring how likable you are. We all live in a society. I'm gonna say this again and again and again. We all fucking live in a society. And if you want to be in a society, you gotta play by the rules of society. I don't make the rules, I'm just an observe, observer of these rules. I'm telling you guys, you cannot love yourself unless other people love you. What does this mean for us? What does this mean for all of you out there who are feeling like you're a piece of shit, you don't worth shit, people don't like you? This is a reminder to you that either you're an actual piece of shit or that the people around you cannot appreciate you for who you are. Just think about it, man. Face this head on. Ask yourself this question. Am I a piece of shit? Or is it that the people around me do not appreciate me for who I am? You see, a lot of these black pillars, these incels, these losers, they have this negative self-talk because the people around them and the circumstances around their life just further reinforce this negative mindset. Say they don't have a lot of experience with girls. They go on online dating. They try to match with a girl. They eventually get a match maybe out of a hundred swipes, you get two matches. And they shot, they, they try to send these girls a message, trying to get to know them better. And they, they get no reply. What does that do to their self-esteem? Down the gutter. Online dating is not real life. But these guys keep going on online dating and trying to get a girlfriend that way. It's not, it's just not a human reaction, um, uh, interaction. Tinder, online dating, it's not real. And the only metric for measuring how successful you are on online dating is how good you look. And most people, I'll be honest, most people look average. You gotta be above average model material as a guy to get any sort of attention from women online. Now, you take that out into real life. Who are you? What do you do? What kind of person are you? If in real life, if people still treat you like shit, there can only be two things. You either need to work on yourself or you need to get away from these people. Because the more failures you have in life, I'll, I'll, just, I'll just stick to dating. The more failures, perceived failures you have in dating, the more strongly this idea of you being a loser is being re, um, reinforced.
So say you don't have a lot of success with dating and you keep going to these videos seeking advice on how to pick up women, how to be more high value. And you try it out on real life and it doesn't work. And then you come into a conclusion. You come to the conclusion that you are a normie. Someone who cannot get bitches. It just keeps reinforcing this idea within you. That's why I think therapy is very useful. You go there, the first few sessions, the therapist examine you and tell you you are a good person. You are okay looking. You have a stable job. You are doing well for yourself. You're, you're looking after your own health. You're not morbidly obese. You have healthy habits. And at first, if you go to the therapy, you might be like, what the fuck is this person talking about? You are only saying this because you are my therapist. But then over time, you keep going to the um, therapy and then you begin to realize maybe what the therapist is saying is true. I am a decent human being. I'm looking after my own health. I am physically active. I have friends who do care about me. Not a lot of friends, but a close group of friends. And you would, you would begin to realize that you also have somewhat of a worth. And that's when you start to love yourself. You might think us humans are rational and that we, we think highly of ourselves. But this is often not the case. We are very emotional creatures and we rely on other people to tell us how to feel. Don't deny it. If you feel like shit, chances are the people around you are telling you something. Look deep within yourself. Are you a loser? Do you have things that you need to work on? Uh, or are these people around you, they're no good for your mental health? If so, cut them out. Or talk to them about it. Work it out. Or find new people to hang out with. I'm telling you guys, the people around you have a lot to contribute to who you are as a person, your self-worth. So surround yourself with good people. Stop watching these incel black pill videos that say, oh, I cannot get girls because I am a low tier normie. I'm a rice cell. I'm a manlet. Reject it again. Oh, it's over. It's over for me. It's over for rice cells. Stop watching those videos. It's going to keep reinforcing this negative belief within you. I do not consider myself a black pill, an incel channel, but I put these titles to reach you guys so that when you watch my video, you will realize, fuck, what am I doing with my life? I, sh I should get off YouTube. I should not watch these videos anymore. Not even the red pill, black pills, blue pills, whatever it is. Stop watching these videos. Go out and live your own life. That's it, guys. That's all I got to say for today. I hope you are doing extremely well. And stay on your mission. God bless. And I'll see you next time.